Hi guys, my name is Miss Sierra. I'm with the Eagle View Boys and Girls Club, and today I'm coming to you all with a read aloud. Now, we are going to be reading the story, Even Superheroes Have Bad Days. We all have them. Superheroes, your parents, your classmates, you. Everybody has bad days, so I want you guys to think about what you feel like when you're having a bad day, and then also what you do, right? Because we can't just get mad and throw things around. We can't get mad and break things. We have to figure out how to handle this properly, right? So we're going to read and we're going to find out what our superheroes do when they're having a bad day. And I also want you to think about what you can do when you're having a bad day. But before I start this story, we're going to do our Boys and Girls Club code so that we're all on the same page, okay? So it goes a little bit like this. I believe in God and the right to worship according to my own faith and religion. I believe in America and the American way of life in the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. I believe in honesty, fair play, and good sportsmanship. I believe in my Boys and Girls Club, which stands for all of these things. I am a Boys and Girls Club member. Now granted, I am not a Boys and Girls Club member. I'm a youth development professional, so I am one of the many amazing staff members that you guys see working with your members day in, day out. And once you're done with this video, go and check out what some of the other YDPs have been doing because we've been working really hard on this content. So we want to make sure that you guys have it, so go ahead and check it out. All right. Now, to our read aloud. So, even superheroes have bad days. Um, our author is going to be Shelly Becker, and then our illustrator, or the person that writes the pictures, is Ida Caban. Alright, even superheroes have bad days. Alright, so on the first page, we get introduced to a few characters. We have Beastie, Zing, Thrash, and Laser Man. When superheroes don't get their way, when they're sad, when they're mad, when they have a bad day, they could use their superpowers to kick, punch, and pound. They could shriek, they could screech with an ear-piercing sound. They could crush wooden crates and bend metal gates. They could throw trucks and buses across several states. They could knock over buildings like towers of blocks and crumble the streets into rubble and rocks. They could use their laser eyes to ignite forest fires or fling boomerangs to deflate the town's tires. I don't think they should do that. It doesn't seem very nice. But upset superheroes have all sorts of choices. Instead of destruction and loud, livid voices, they burn angry steam off with speed of light hiking or super extreme outer space mountain biking. Seems like a good choice to me. They race to the rescue of people in need and delight in the joy of a super good deed. They hatch super plans to help banish world sadness, building fabulous theme parks for giggles and gladness. They chase wanted bad guys with supercharged zing, dragging hundreds, hundreds to jail while police dance and sing. They track down and tame super menacing beasts and transform pity parties into victory feasts. But displeased superheroes who don't feel serene could have super temptation to cause a bad scene. Sorry, 
this look. Okay, there we go. They could blast icy blizzards on hot afternoons or walloping twisters in monster typhoons. They could spin spider webs super far, super sticky, and tangle up towns with their silk super icky. They could rotate the planet and mess up world time. Or sit back and relax while the world fills with crime. Now if superheroes let criminals just run free, would they actually still be superheroes then? I think that would make them a villain. When superheroes don't get their way, when they're sad, when they're mad, when they've had a bad day, they could super rampage. They could, but they don't. Because real superheroes just wouldn't. They won't. Instead, they dig down to their super best part, their strong superpowers contained in their heart. And using their talents as true heroes should, they battle the urge to do harm, though they could. They acknowledge their sorrow, their anger, their pain, as they wait for their super emotions to wane. It's okay if they frown. It's okay if they sigh. It's even okay if they slump down and cry. But then they get up and get on with their day. Saving the world in their most super way. And that is when superheroes have a bad day. All right, guys, thank you for checking out our video. Please go and check out more videos from other YDAs. Have a great afternoon, guys.